Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday, hump day. Beautiful morning out here. 77 degrees, expecting a high of 90 today. That water temperature's in the upper 80s now. Beautiful morning here. Very calm. See the lightning out there in that cloud? Get some of that early morning lightning activity, summer lightning, that's pretty cool. See if it lights up again for us. There it was, a little flash. Got a, got a, another little storm out there in the Gulf to the south. Pretty dark out here right now. It's looking south down Vanderbilt Beach where all the condos are. We don't like that beach with all those condos, the concrete jungle. We like Del Nor Wiggins, all natural. Starting to see some pinks here in the sky. Still a lot of lightning in that cloud out there. We get another flash here. It's fun coming out here when it's dark and watching that lightning offshore. Pretty impressive. There you go. There was a nice little flash. Get one more, then I'll start my beach walk here. Cloud should be getting some interesting colors as the sun rises. So we get another flash of lightning out there. There we go. All right, flip around here. Back to the wide mode. We're down at the, there goes a flock of ibis. White ibis just flew over my head. We're down at the very south end of the beach. I just wanted to come down here and see if there was any turtle activity. I didn't see any crawls between here and Exit ramp one, eh, exit ramp, entrance ramp, the boardwalk in area one. I did see nest 41. There's nest 41, that's tucked up into the dunes really well. That's a great location for a nest. That should be pretty safe from any super high tides that we have. It's nest 41. Tucked in all the sea oats here. Absolutely gorgeous. Come down to the water. Start walking up the beach. You never know what we're gonna see. The water looks really nice out here this morning. That cloud's starting to get some color now on the top. As the sun comes higher and higher, more and more of that cloud's probably gonna turn pink. Some nice little colors out here. The water looks great down here in area one. One in the very south end here. So I was walking down here this morning. I saw a big dark shadow moving out here in the water. I don't know what it was. Could have been a manatee, a tarpon. Could have even been a shark, who knows. I just saw a big dark shadow swimming along and as I walked down to the water, it kind of made its way out further offshore. 
It's a little dark to see the water. And it's actually darker than what it appears in the camera here, but you can see the bottom. It's beautiful down here in the south end of the park. Absolutely gorgeous. It's only when we get around that darn barge up in area four where it gets bad. The water gets murky looking. Here comes a couple pelicans flying right along the shore, right along the shoreline. Oh, they saw me and headed out a little bit. Just above the water. And neat. Oh, there went a little white ibis. Beautiful out here. Really starting to get some nice colors. Oh, we miss any dolphins this morning? Sunday we saw a few dolphins, that was fun. Look at that big cloud there starting to light up. Wow. That, that whole thing is going to turn red. Maybe. Let's see what happens. Snap off a quick photo, bear with me. All right, keep walking. Let's see what happens with that cloud. One's two more pelicans. More color out there in the Gulf. And this one's lighting up some more over here. I think I want to hang out here for just for a few minutes to see what happens with that cloud. If I go north, it's going to be behind the trees up there. if we get any more colors there. Gorgeous. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Again, expecting a high of 90 today. Right now it's about 78 degrees. That water temperature is so... The sign at the gate says 85. It sure feels warmer than 85 degrees in that water. Beautiful, isn't that gorgeous, those clouds? The only thing that spoils it's all those condos. Sailboat anchored offshore. It's like a catamaran, maybe. Maybe a try. And there, it'll focus. Thought it was gonna be too dark to get a focus. Yeah, it looks like those guys were anchored offshore overnight. That's gotta be really peaceful. You can just barely see it in the wide shot right out there. How's that cloud doing? I don't think it's going to catch on fire there. Still beautiful though. Still beautiful. That's me taking pictures when we lose the connection like that.
gorgeous view. There's sea turtle nest number 44 up there. We have had a few nests that have hatched. We've had a couple hatch already, so that's good news. My last count, I saw 45 nests. Let's see if there was any more over the past couple days. Let's see if we had any crawls last night. It's always fun to see. When we get over 50 crawls, that's really exciting. And that cloud that's out there in the Gulf with the lightning, that's about half of it has turned colors now. That's a, that's a thunderstorm out there. And there's another one down as I pan around down here to the south. A big cloud right there. That's a thunderstorm. Hopefully they'll stay offshore. Yeah, pretty though, the reflections in the water. So peaceful listening to the waves coming in. Hopefully we'll see Roy this morning. And I believe our friends, the Pfeifers, have arrived from Germany. Hopefully we'll get to see them. And Fisherman Mike. There's a little snowy egret out in the water. Looking for its morning breakfast. Boy, the water is beautiful down here. Absolutely gorgeous. Pristine. Look at the colors. Oh, darn it. Look at those colors reflecting. Isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous. I'll take a quick photo. Bear with me. Sorry about that. I just can't resist taking pictures when I'm out here. I always hope that I'll come out here one morning and catch a sea turtle, a straggler on the beach. Hasn't happened yet. Mark, the assistant manager here, he caught one. There's another, here's a crawl right here. So we, here's one crawl last night. This is where she came out of the water. That's, that's the crawl track from a loggerhead sea turtle. This is the one coming out of the water, up onto the beach. And look at this. This is what ticks me off. Look at this. Here's the crawl tracks right here. And here's somebody left a hole on the beach. Look how close that turtle came to falling in that hole. That sucks. It looks like she did some digging over here. I don't know if there was any any action there. That's where it looks like she tried to make a nest. And back over here again, she 
came up. Who knows? The Rangers will check that out. There's the tracks going back to the water. There, you can see the tracks coming out. Up to where maybe the potential nest site is. And then back down to the water. Hard to tell here. We don't see that little line in the return tracks. Well, there we go. Not very pronounced. Well, we'll see. The Rangers will check that out. Maybe we'll have another new nest. That'll be nice. That's one crawl. How many are on the beach right now? Okay, so we're still up to 45 confirmed. Maybe we'll get lucky and get 46. Maybe we'll find another one up there. Well, as of now, 45 confirmed successful crawls. That's still a good number for this little beach, this one mile stretch. You figure out how big the coast of Florida is. If there are 45 nests on every mile, that's a lot of nests. <laughs> a lot of little fish jumping out here in the water. Very colorful now, boys. Really getting some really nice colors out in the Gulf. You look down to the south. Isn't that beautiful? I just have to take a photo. Bear with me. I'm back. Sorry about that. It helps document the sea turtle nests up here. How many, how many emergings have we had? How many hatchings? None? We are supposed to have one the other week. Yeah. Or, uh, on Friday. We are supposed to have one on Monday. Uh. But we think we had too much rain the first month. So, so it might have drowned them? Yeah, that hurricane. Yeah. Whatever, there was a couple went underwater for a while. That yeah, was sad. Yeah, we know for sure we lost one in that, but we didn't know if we were going to lose the others. That's always sad. They work so hard. <laughs> yeah, but we got a lot more and we're yep. open. We're storm free at least till October. Yep. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yep. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So it's pretty active now. You heard for yourself there. We haven't had any hatchings yet, but we have lost a couple nests because of that storm. That was sad. Look at those beautiful colors out there though. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. 
sure pays to come out here early. Where's those dolphins? They should be awake by now. So let me get on the phone and give those dolphins a call. Tell them I'm out here looking for them, please. One new crawl so far this morning, down in area one. Maybe we'll get lucky and see another one. The more the merrier. The more nests we get on the beach, the better. You can see up here we have quite a few of them. If you look close, you can see three right there in that in the picture. One, two, three. Three nests right there. There's another two nests a little further up up there. Hey, we're getting into, there's a few shells on the beach here, finally. That's nice. That water is gorgeous, that's for sure. Beautiful water here. I'm still south of that barge. That water is beautiful. Crystal clear here in here. This is area two. About in the middle of area two. Beautiful, beautiful. So far, one and two, the beach is in one and two. Parking lots one and two are gorgeous this morning. Take my word on that. Okay. Any interesting shells down here? Tide is coming in now. We're probably about five hours away from high tide. It's still, it's still a ways off. I'm not seeing anything. Nothing's jumping out at me here, shell wise. It's still a little dark and hard to see. Beautiful though, as the sun's coming up and the sky's changing colors here. This is the north end of area two. There's a great ramp, great access to the beach here. They even have beach wheelchairs available. If you need a wheelchair, a beach wheelchair to get out on the beach, let them know at the ranger station when you come in. Or even better, call ahead and give them a heads up and they'll have it ready for you when you get here. Is all is down here, just lots and lots of little broken shells this morning. Hmm. Nothing. Nothing, nothing yet. We'll, we'll see if our luck changes as we get further north. What's that? Piece of something. It's like a piece of an old whelk shell. Boy, a piece of an old giant whelk shell. How's it looking out there in the water? Up. Oh, I think we might have had another crawl. Still beautiful colors out there. Look at that. 
beautiful, beautiful as we look down to the south there. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous. What a beautiful Wednesday morning. That's just me taking pictures. Where's everybody at? Come on, you sleep your heads, get out of bed and get online. I don't want to be the only one out here walking the beach. lot of shells here in the water. A lot of them down there. The water's still looking good. We're up in area three now. The water's still looking really nice. There's a little cluster of shells. Anything in there? Oh, there's a nice little scallop. Beautiful little scallop shell. Lots of beautiful little shells here. Two scallops. Two little scallops. Nice looking little scallop shells. That's a nice one right there. That's actually a little keeper right there, that little scallop. You can tell those scallops by the little wings they have down at the base. When people think of a seashell, that's probably the most common shape that you think of, that scallop shell. Only one new set of turtle tracks on the beach so far this morning. Forty-five confirmed crawls so far this nesting season. No hatchings yet. No hatchings. We have not had any hatchings. We should have had a couple by now, but unfortunately those nests were lost during that tropical depression that we had a few months ago. The heavy rains, the nests were underwater for too long, that's sad. We're coming up to the north end of area three now. like something got into one of the nests over here. Gosh darn it. What the heck happened here? We had a sea turtle crawl up the beach. There she's coming out of the water. We had another there's number second crawl. She came up out of the water. Ha! Huh. Never saw this before. Here's where she may have laid some eggs up here. Holy smokes. Then when she returned, she just plowed over this other nest here. This nest that's kind of all messed up, that's the nest that Mark got the video of the sea turtle just finishing up and going back to the water. <laughs> so look at that, there would be three nests right next to each other. And as she left, she knocked over the, the stakes and tore up the cage. Look at that. 
They're like bulldozers. But look at that, she mangled up that wire cage. It's a good thing she didn't get stuck up here. Wow. There's her tracks back to the water. Yeah, they look like big tractor tires. There's the tracks coming out of the water. See how that sand's pushed to the back? You can tell how what direction they're coming. The sand's pushed back. So these are the tracks coming out of the water. Wow, that's amazing how she just plowed over that other nest. She, maybe there's a nest there, maybe not, but that's where she did her digging and then she just went by and just bulldozed right over that other nest. Made her way back to the water. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So there's two, two crawls. Hopefully there's some eggs there. The rangers will do their probing and find out. Let's see what that sky looks like around out in the gulf here. I look around. That's beautiful. The colors are getting brighter, starting to fade. See kind of the reds, the golds on the trees from the sunrise. Beautiful. Beautiful clear blue sky to the east. Look at that. Wow. All blue sky. Gorgeous. Lots of piles of little shells along here. All just little broken ones, though. Well, now we're, I'm starting to see the water getting a little cloudy. We're getting closer to that darn old barge. It's pumping the sand out. It's not pumping right now, fortunately. I think there's another crawl up, a, up the beach here. Or possibly an emerging. It'd be fun to show you what it looks like after the little hatchlings come out and see the little hole that these little baby sea turtles come out and see their little footprints all over the beach. That young lady that we were talking to earlier, she's up in the dunes checking something out up ahead of me. There's nest 45. Oh, wait, does that say 40? 36, I'm sorry. That's nest 36 over there. It looks like they ran out of painted stakes. 
the newer nests are marked with just plain wooden stakes. But lots of nests. Maybe we'll have some new ones today. See what those rangers find. That beautiful. A little snowy egret over. Well, the water's still nice here. So far, the water's nice and clear right here. We're up into area four now. The barge isn't pumping, so that has a lot to do with it. The water looks great right here so far. There's a pelican flying by. Aren't they beautiful? Beautiful colors there this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Definitely picture worthy. That's one of our new little sandbars out there. We see those waves breaking. When we get our really low tides, we can walk all along out there on the sandbar. Hopefully there's still some nice shells out there. Love the sky in the early morning. It's got such nice colors, soft colors. Very soft colors this morning. Are we gonna run into any friends out here today? We gonna see Roy? You never know. That little little egret, little snowy white egret. You had any luck, buddy? Have you caught your breakfast yet? Beautiful, isn't it? That sky, the pine tree, the sky. I gotta snap a photo, bear with me. So beautiful. And this little snowy egret's just walking alongside of me here. He's making his way up the beach with me. It's making its way, him or her. <laughs> I'm looking at you. You're the star right now. I'm not going to do anything to hurt you. Oh, didn't get anything. Yep. I don't know what that young lady was looking at up there in the dunes. She might have been checking this nest out up here. That's nice and high. Nest 31. High and dry. Something did some digging here. I wonder what a raccoon was digging around in there. When they do that, that's, they're usually digging around sea turtle nests. I don't know if there was an old nest there, one of them that didn't make it. 
The raccoons could have smelled the old eggs in there. Definitely see the raccoon tracks. See them down here on the beach? Those are raccoon tracks. That's, what they, that's why they put those metal cages on the nest to keep the raccoons out. Well, there's that darn barge sitting out there. <laughs> it looks like it's really run aground on the sandbar. Looks like it's high and dry out of the water there. But fortunately, it's not spewing out that black filth again this morning. See Roy's beach chair up here. I've not really found any interesting shells, seen any interesting shells yet. Believe me, I'm looking. Oh, there's a really cool fish just offshore next to me. I, it took off. I just saw its shadow. I don't know what the heck it was. It looked like a little baby grouper. Ooh, the sun's coming out now. Look at you. They're just popping up over the trees. Boy, is it bright this morning. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning to all you sleepyheads out there watching. Beautiful out here, absolutely gorgeous. Definitely picture worthy, photo worthy right here, bear with me. Take a look down to the south here. Out into the Gulf. Boy, there's a bunch of shells out in front of this barge. There's a little sandbar exposed there. And there's a bunch of shells on it, but I think that water is pretty deep here. I don't know. I think it, there's a big drop off out here. Well, maybe not. It'd be worth my trek out here. Anything? No, nope, looks like it's just rocks. There's rocks out here.
little scallop shell that's left of a scallop. There's a big cockle shell. Part of a cockle. Part of a big cockle shell. Thing over here. This is all new sand that's been pumped out from Wiggins Pass and dumped out here by this barge. Now they're pretty, all the shells are pretty ground up from being pumped up here. Darn it. Just hoping to find something nice. And there's a close up look at that barge. Up there, that's where the stuff gets pumped out. And there's a good close up of the barge. Picture of it here. It looks like it's run aground here. I oh, know it looks like it's bobbing up and down barely. Take a picture of that. The old barge. Can't find anything else out here? really hoping I'd get lucky by walking out here. It's all broken shells. Some old fighting conch shells. Turkey wing. A little scallop of turkey wing down here. There's a scallop shell. Nice little scallop and a little turkey wing. There's an old conch shell. Florida fighting con. Beautiful shells, the fighting conks. This one's pretty worn. A lot of times they have a really nice little point. There's another turkey wing, a little bigger turkey wing, piece of a turkey wing. Turkey wing shell. There's a mossy arc shell, old mossy arc. That's an old worn out mossy arc right there. Another big piece of a cockle, piece of a big cockle shell. There's Roy up on the beach. Standing under the trees up there. I take a photo, bear with me. All right, I'm back. It's nice being out here offshore. You get a nice look at the beach. Great look at the beach from out here. I gotta take another picture, sorry. Sorry for those interruptions, but. There's nothing I can do about it. It's either pictures or video. Right. Well, I'm here. Should take a picture looking the other direction, right? Now that sun's come up. Take a look down south. rain clouds there out in the Gulf. I'm going to take a photo. Bear with me. There 
get moving if I want to catch up with anybody. I don't want to run out of batteries here. standing up on the beach. Looks like he's getting his chair set up. Well, the water's still fairly clear here. That's a good sign. Water's just over my knees here. So I walk back. You can see the bottom. See the reflections down there? A lot nicer than it's been the past few times that I've been out here. Getting into the shade from these pines. All right, almost up on dry land. There we go. Anything down here? Nope. That's where I was a little while ago, out by that barge there. Piles of little shells. I don't see anything here. What's that down there? Up. Oh. Thought it was a crown conch. Looks like a little part of a crown conch, a little baby crown. Beautiful, the crown conchs. Some worm tips down here. Some little worm tips. There's one little worm tip. Just a little tip there from the worm shell. What's up, Roy? Hey, Rob, how you doing? Good, good. How are you oh, doing? I missed you yesterday. What happened yesterday? You weren't here. Nope. Everybody asked about you. You see were how, here. You see how popular you are? Yep. Everybody asked, where's Rob today? <laughs> where's Rob today? My friend Angelo was out here, he said. He was talking to you. Oh, yeah. A nice chat with him. Yep. He said he came by. That surprised me. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I wanted to tell you that... Uh, on uh, a lot of the letters where people uh, ordered my book and put a little put a little nice little letter in uh -huh. with the with the money they all a lot of them mentioned you oh well, that's nice. what a good job you're doing i hope in a good way great oh yeah how great <laughs> it is to, have, to, to watch your program and 
What a great job oh, you're doing. Nice Say hi one. to Rob for me and all that sort of thing. So <laughs> I got a lot of those comments for you. Well, that's, how's the book sales go? You should be getting orders every day. Oh, yeah, it's going, going I great. See, I, Amazon selling them. I, people, I, I keep seeing comments. I'm going to order a book today. So Good, good. Yeah. Yeah, now they can get a hard copy from Amazon now. Dave yes. Henry got that arranged, too. Good morning, good morning. Oh, it's a lot of a lot of fun. It's interesting. Met a lot of interesting people, and and it's been a good time. Well, that's good. Have you and you saw the Pfeifers? Huh? You oh yeah, the yeah, that's they good. were here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Is Fisherman yeah. Mike with them? Uh, yeah. What? How was that? Was Mike with them? Fisherman Mike? No, I haven't seen Fisherman Mike. He said he's got some German friends that were going to come down, but he wasn't here yesterday, and yeah. I didn't see him up there this morning. Yeah, I thought he was going to be here with the Pfeifers. Yeah, that's right. Oh, well. I'm going to walk up there. You finish getting your stuff set up, and there he is. I see Mike walking out on the beach right now. Oh, really? Yep. And oh. it looks like the Pfeifers are with him. Somebody's oh, with him. Well, I brought the books down. In fact, uh, Astrid, who's uh, from right. Germany, in fact, I talked to her sister over in Germany, oh, she did oh, and yeah. I had a nice talk with her, and uh, we talked a little, little German together, uh, as much as I know, which is uh, Gut Morgen and Auf Wiedersehen. But uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, she, uh, what was I going to tell you? Well, anyway, oh yeah, she gave me all, all the German words to put on their, their books. For uh, you know, uh, have a good day and bless oh, you, okay, and, uh, gotcha. and have a good trip, voyage, and all those good. Well, that's German great. Words. So, so I, when you when I you got, sign the book, that's you can do it in German. Those. Perfect. Yeah, yeah it's perfect. A, it's interesting. I got it all written down here. She wrote it all down for me. So well, that's good. Be able to put a little, little well, I want to get up there and see him before I run out of my out of juice here and get back. Yeah, I'll, good. You, you can show me those when I get back. Good, All right, good. I'll okay. be back down in a little bit. Yeah, nice seeing you. Roy. All right, Roy. <laughs> we'll go Say back and. Mike. All right, I'll tell him you said hi. I'm sure they'll walk down. Good old Roy. I saw somebody commented, "Have there been any hatchings? There have not been any sea turtle nest hatchings on this beach so far." And that was confirmed. I confirmed that with someone this morning. We've lost a few nests, but there have not been any hatchings yet. We're getting close. There was should have been a couple last week, but unfortunately they were underwater too long during our heavy rains and the nests did not make it. So there have been no hatchings as of yet. It's like part of an old whelk shell down here. Beautiful colors, these lightning whelks. Come on, focus. That's kind of the stem, the inside of the whelk, the whelk, the lightning whelk. There we go. Get it in focus. Beautiful colors, the lightning whelk. Since this dredging's been going on, we haven't been finding as many shells as we normally have. Hopefully once that dredging stops, we'll get back to normal and start finding all of our beautiful shells again. We did have two, two sea, turtle, sea turtle crawls last night. Whether they were successful or not, I don't know. The rangers just passed by me. They didn't, doesn't seem like they spent very much time, so they might have been false crawls. But I'll know as I head back. It started down in Area 1 this morning. When I started, there were 45 confirmed sea turtle crawls. And again, no hatchings. People keep asking if there's been hatching. No. No, no, no. Not on this beach. They have in other parts of Southwest Florida, but not at Dole Norwegians yet.
Lots of shells in this little area right here. Big pile of them. What's down there? I don't know. <laughs> but there is a big pile of them. Who knows what all's in there? area five this is where this part of the beach got hit the hardest there we look at all the beach we've lost here the beach used to be way out to here look how high it used to be all the way out to here it's gone washed away sad Oh, sorry about that. I didn't see that exposure blown out like that. Every once in a while, the camera sticks when I'm walking. The iris gets stuck in the auto mode there and doesn't shut down. all that beach that got eroded here and washed away that happened a couple months ago during when we had tropical depression oh what was its name i forgot its name now we had a tropical depression pass by us out in the gulf we just washed all the beach away i forgot what its name was Somebody was asking about the shell trees. Yeah, the shell trees are still up here. No fisherman Mike's up here. Got somebody with them. I don't see the fifers. out here give you a look around Haven't seen any dolphins yet this morning Isn't that beautiful looking down to the south there where there's all kinds of pinks and Oranges in the sky when we started out there this morning. We saw some lightning out there at the very start of our beach walk. You can check that all out in the replay of this video. I'll make that available on Facebook and YouTube as well. I'll share a link where you can watch this video on YouTube. When you watch it on YouTube, it's going to be a little better quality on YouTube. You'll have to deal with a couple of pop up ads, but hey. It is what it is. It only lasts a couple seconds. If you like what you see in the ad, click on it. Makes me a little bit of money. <laughs> Maybe a half of a penny. Oop, see we got a weak connection now. Darn it. Hey Mike, how you doing? Oh, great. William and Ken. William, how you doing? Hey, Ken, how you doing? The Pikers are here. They went down to see Roy yesterday. He was real confused. Didn't know who they were. Oh, really? Yeah. He said, I had all the books and I only got one. He was supposed to sign one of them. In right. He was just, 
just a confusing day for him. Oh, yeah. He's still dealing with that computer stuff. That's well, Mary his... went over there and got them all squared away on... Uh... Did they get it done? Yeah, she went and she paid for the uh, um, scanning. That's on her credit card, so every year we'll renew it. He won't have to worry about it. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah he was... Again, you know... It, and then when, before we got over, I told him Mary was coming over there. Right. And my, my, Mary got over there. He's on the phone with another company. Oh, no. Mary goes, Roy, hang He up. doesn't listen. He's no, so impatient. No, he won't oh. let. He, he, you know, he digs his own holes. I, yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. You know, I, I said, Mary's on her way over. Yeah. And then he has to get on the phone with that. And yeah. thank God she got there just to, you know, Roy, yeah. hang up. Exactly. And he wouldn't, you know. And then That's finally... Right. Grabbed one as a Roy. I just gave up with the book on, you know. I just oh, gave up. Oh, no, I, I, yeah, 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 I can understand. It was like he wouldn't do anything I said, and then yeah. it was like, okay. I mean, it's nice that he wants to be independent. Yeah, oh, absolutely. But you know, heck, it's nice to have somebody wanting to help you, though, too. Oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you know, especially with the computer. I mean, I mean, I don't, I know enough not to get in trouble. Right. I mean, what I know is. Don't click on anything. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Mary, you know, don't click on anything. Yep. Yeah, he's gotten in trouble a couple times doing that on, yeah. the, on the internet. Are the Fifers here today? They're, they'll be here probably before you walk back. They're, they're okay. Here Did you catch anything the other day? Yeah. No. Well, and I, well, that water was so bad. Yeah. It was like chocolate milk. Yeah, it's not so bad now. No, no. They're not pumping, well, though, they're either. They're not pumping, yeah. Yeah, so... Well, good luck. I'll see you on the return. Okay. <laughs> Fisherman Mike. we got a really bad connection here. And he crawls up there. Nope. No more turtle crawls on the beach. We did see two. I don't know if any of them were successful this morning. So, if we're lucky, maybe we're up to 46 confirmed crawls. I don't know. Confirmed nests. I'll find out when I walk back down the beach. There we go. Our signal's gotten better. It's come back here. Again, you can watch this later on on YouTube, the whole entire video, in a little better quality. Wiggins Pass, up in Area 5. There's one of our shell trees. If you look close, you can see the little shells on it. They're still here. We lost quite a few of them, but Hurricane Irma last year, a year ago, September, Hurricane Irma devastated this end of the park. Washed away, knocked down all the trees, washed some of them away. I see him laying over here. Ah, there goes that connection again. This used to be a beautiful little archway of trees that you could walk under here. Now they've all been knocked over and washed up onto the beach. Connections just kind of fading in and out here. That happens as we get further to the north. There is no Wi Fi out here, so you're just at the mercy of your cell phone provider. Part of a cockle shell down here. It's a pretty nice size one.
gorgeous out here this morning. There's a nice scallop. Looks like a nice scallop. Let's see. Yeah. It's a nice big scallop shell. Darn connection. That's a nice shell. There's a little piece of worm rock there next to it. Nice little piece of worm rock with the little worm tubes. What do we have here? That might be an old crown conch, an old worn crown conch there. Very possible. And that's an old crown conch. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Runny nose. This is the very north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Gorgeous out here this morning. Beautiful sky. Beautiful blue sky this morning. I'm gonna snap off a photo. back here still have that terrible connection I apologize but there's nothing I can do about it it'll get better here as I turn around and walk back down the beach let's start walking south head back down towards Roy There's a crown conch down here, a crown conch, a fighting conch. Let me see. Oh, I thought somebody might have been home here, but no, nobody home. Nice shell though, see how this one has that nice point on it? That's a great crown uh, fighting conch, Florida fighting conch. You could take that home, just needs to be cleaned up. Make a nice little souvenir. The Florida fighting conch. Yeah, here comes Angelo. Angelo, Angelo. Walking up the beach. Are you lost? Good morning. <laughs> Where'd you park? Down in area four. Down by Roy? Yep. I'm down in the down in one, down at the entrance. Oh, I was wondering about that. Yeah. Started out, did the whole beach this morning. It's nice out. Oh, it's absolutely nice. beautiful. Did you see any mermaids while you're walking along? I didn't I talked to Roy for a few <laughs> minutes this morning. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. just absolutely beautiful out here. No red tide, nothing. It's nope. oh, so that, nice. And that barge is off, fortunately, so the water's pretty clean this morning. It's not pumping down there. That's nice. Yep. So how far are you going to walk? Oh, down here to the point and then back a little bit. We'll see. All right. I'm going to go back and talk to Roy and then head down. Right. See you later, Angelo. Angelo used to be my next door neighbor. He used to live across the street from me here in Naples Park before we moved. We were neighbors for, oh gosh, over 10 years. Hey, oh, it's broken. Thought I was gonna find a shark eye or a nautica shell. 
I did, but it's a broken one. Gosh darn it. Piece of one. Beautiful shells, though. Darn it. Sprint is having some problems with the connection this morning, big time. So you won't, don't worry, you won't miss anything. I always repost the video here. You'll be able to see it on YouTube later today in better quality. But the whole north end of the beach here, we have not been getting a good signal. It's been very, very, very weak, which makes the picture very, very fuzzy. Hopefully it'll come back here right by the time I get down to Roy. This is where we, we lost the signal right when I started talking to Fisherman Mike. Something on the line looks like probably a ladyfish up here. There's a little black scallop shell. One of our little black scallops. Some sunlight on it. Here's a little black scallop. Oh, is that a mackerel? Nice. Well, it's better than not catching anything. Yep. <laughs> well, no fifers, huh? Oh, I'm surprised. But, you know, they, they just got into the uh, Yeah. Uh, every, all, their hours are all so Oh, yeah. Early. Yep, they're a little yeah, behind six, there. Six hours. Yep, yep they're lagging there. <laughs> yeah. Jet lagged. Went to Costco and uh, huh. I'm sure they were going to go Oh, yeah. Well, all right. Good luck, Mike. Alrighty. Yep. Yep. Is the old man down there? Right? Yeah, he's down there. He said hi. He, oh, he told me to tell you hi. Yeah, yeah. Roy Roy has already wow. done, his, done his walk up here and everything. So, okay. yeah, he told me to tell you hi. Well, let him know that. He said uh, you got here too late. People that came from the German that came that he sang with are the Pipers, and he owes them the book. Okay. <laughs> he goes, no, Mike's got them all. I was like, no, I only got one. Good luck, guys. Start slowly making my way back down here to Roy. Hoping for a better signal. It doesn't look like it's gonna be happening here. I don't know what's going on.
Well, this is not good here. I think I'm going to end this live feed and try and start another one. See if the connection improves. So we're up in area five. Be sure to watch part two of this beach walk. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back here. I'm up in the north end of Area 4 at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. It looks like we have a little better connection now. This is part two of this morning's beach walk. You can watch a replay of part one on YouTube or here on Facebook. YouTube, the quality is going to be better. And it looks like we're getting a bad connection again. It's got a low, there's low network connection. Something is seriously wrong with Sprint. And I'm not changing because I'm not going to screw around changing phone numbers. I've had this number for 20 something years since cell phones were invented. <laughs> Let's see if the signal picks up here. Just heading back over to chat with Roy. A nice walk this morning. Started early down in area one. Saw two, two sea turtle crawls. I don't know if any of them were successful. I'll find out as I make my way south here. Watching the submarine races? Yeah. Oh, the submarine races are great. Are they good? Yeah. Did you see Mike down there? I did see Mike. Are the German people with him? No, they're not with him, the Pfeiffers. Oh, I'll be darned. Nope. You didn't remember them, huh? Well, there was another German couple were here yesterday, but I guess it wasn't the Pfeiffers. They were a German couple. But, uh, yeah, I remember the Pfeifers, yeah. Well, the Pfeifers were here yesterday, and they showed you how to do the German and everything when you're on the book. No, that was Astrid. Oh, she, Astrid? Yeah, Astrid gave me the whole German book. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you saw the Pfeifers, didn't you? Well, I really don't know what the names were, but there was a, a German couple here yesterday, and I had a nice chat with them. He just gotten some tattooed, uh, tattoos on his arm, so he couldn't go for a swim for a month or something. But his, his uh, wife said she'd go swimming with me today. Yeah, that's Andrea. Yep, Andrea and Marcus. Yeah, I said something Wasn't, like wasn't that. their son with them? No. No? Huh. Yeah, they had just got here the day before from Germany. Yeah, they were very pleasant. Neat. Yeah, uh, yeah. So what you gonna do today? Well, I'm going to uh, take some long swims because I think it's going to get pretty warm when the sun comes up. Oh, and yeah. And the water is great for swimming. Yesterday I had a big, nice swim for over an hour. And then I got, the rain came down just when I was about oh, to boy. come out, so I stayed in the water so I didn't get wet. We had a, <laughs> a big rain the other day. Yeah, Man. that's for sure. Oh, lightning, boy, boy thunder and lightning. Downpour, yeah. Yeah, it was a big one. So, uh... I got to take my swims. I got to weave my way around all these big sandbars they built. But yeah, that's I, something, huh? I managed to sneak on out and get out to the deep water. Yeah, that, uh, all I the guess, new sandbars. It's... I guess they're going to haul this out one of these days. They took the dredge out. Uh, uh, well, it was gone yesterday, and they, 
The day before it was here when I left, they must have pulled it out in the afternoon. Oh, the dredge is gone? Yeah, it's completely gone. You can see it. It's not around oh, anymore. Oh, that's not it up in the river there? Well, that's some other, uh, it's not the dredge, oh, okay. it's some other barge. Hey, maybe they're done. That'd yeah, be they, nice, they, huh? yeah, definitely. They towed the dredge away. Well, that's great. Yeah. Now the water's going to start clearing yeah, up. Yeah, you aren't kidding. So you can see it isn't pumping out. It wasn't yeah. pumping out yesterday because the dredge is gone. Great. And, and now that'll clear up and then they're in that big racket when i come up there to talk to the good lord in the morning why that thing's been running and yeah away. that was a nuisance huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was annoying so i'm glad they finally got their job done yeah well that's great news so, you're you're certain of that huh <laughs> well the dredge is gone i don't think they're gonna bring it back again awesome. they towed it away that is awesome news that's good, great news, and one of these days they'll tow this because the dredge doesn't do them any good without their big hose, yeah. so they'll have to get that done. Have to have to pick yeah, up they that told hose. me they had something to do down the shore here, oh, so okay. that was a week or so ago. And so oh, that's great. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Good news. Got any other good news for us? Oh, yeah, See. I got a lot of good news. Always good news. Yeah. Good advice? Got any advice? Well, I got a kind of interesting thought. I think All I right. might have broached it with you once before, but I was thinking about it tomorrow, this morning again, and, and the word is intuitions. Intuitions. I think we had intuitions a while back. Well, maybe. But it's worth repeating, because intuitions are so so unbelievably uh, profound. Uh huh. And I think the, the deal is, you know, the, the good Lord guides us and directs us. Right. And, uh, especially when we pray to him, uh, then he gives us guidance and direction. Right. But I think the way it works is uh, I know the, the heavens don't open up with a big boom and crash and a big loud voice says, Roy, this is God speaking. Right. Here's what I want you to do and not do. <laughs> Yeah. I'll listen firmly and do it. So it doesn't work that right. way. If it did, why well, it would be a little more definite. But I think the way it works is he puts these thoughts in our mind. Uh -huh. He puts the thoughts in our mind, and those are intuitions. And if you have an intuition, I know everybody gets them. I get them, too, where you get a feeling. Some people call it a gut reaction or right. a, gut feeling. a gut feeling. It's an inner feeling that you have a feeling that you shouldn't do something or you should do something. Or right. You should talk to somebody or you shouldn't say this or you should say that. It's an inner feeling that guides you and directs you. And I think it's God putting this inner feeling in, these intuitions, these thoughts, and that's, uh -huh. that's how he guides us. So intuitions is a really big, big, big thing. If you heed your inter intuitions and you act on your inter intuitions, everything works out just right. fabulously. Well, what do they say? Trust your intuition. Trust it. That's Trust your always... intuitions yes. and act act according to to the intuitions. Because I know you get intuition intuitions about you shouldn't do this, and, and then if you don't act on them, a, a couple days later you say, "Oh, why didn't I follow right. my intuitions?" Right. So. Follow your intuitions. Good advice. And I, I also think that the devil, he sneaks in and likes to put thoughts in your mind too. So you got to choose your intuitions. Choose the good ones, the positive ones from God and forget the devil sneaking in and, and uh, wanting you to do something evil. Very good advice. <laughs> Very good advice, Roy. Well, it's just a thought. It's a thought. It's good advice. Well, nope. thanks, thanks. It's a good that's, that was great. <laughs> that was wonderful. So you follow your intuitions, you have a wonderful, happy, joyful life. There you go. That is so true. You can't beat that. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Well, just that was our thought. little sermon on the beach. I love it. <laughs> Not a sermon. Our just, sermon on the beach. Just kind of a thought. That was great. Nope. All right. Well, I'm glad I stopped chatted with you. Oh, it's always a delight. Always Rob. makes my morning, always makes my day better. It does for me too. I gotta stand up I see, and say goodbye. I see, uh, I don't know where he went. I saw Angelo was back here. Uh, he saw my friend Angelo. Did he say hi this morning was again? Is he the fellow from Chicago? Yeah. The big fellow? Yeah. Yeah, he said he could go down the beach and say hello. Yep, I saw him up the beach there. Yeah. That was neat. Yeah. All right. Well, you have a wonderful morning. 
good luck with that book. I hope you keep selling millions and millions of copies. Well, it's been quite a quite a delightful endeavor. I've met a lot of interesting people, and it's been a lot of fun. Isn't that the truth? Yeah. We just keep meeting more and more interesting people out here. Isn't that right? Yeah. Everybody's interesting. Every day we come out here, we meet somebody yeah, new. I love it. A lot of great beach friends. <laughs> I see there's some more people down there with Mike. Maybe the Pfeiffers are down there. Good. All right. Well, you have a great day, Roy. Take care. I got, I'm running late. I got to get all the way back down to the end. <laughs> yeah, bless you. All right. See you later. Tally ho. Tally ho. <laughs> oh, our good friend Roy. Always nice to stop and chat with him. Get a little inspiration from him here. Get, it's always good. Always comes up with something to brighten our day. Well, this is part two of my Wednesday morning beach walk. Didn't see many shells this morning. Did see a beautiful sunrise. Saw a couple sea turtle crawls, new sea turtle crawls. Hopefully I'll be able to check on those as I get back down the beach. See if any of them were successful. Nothing down here. This piece of a worm shell. No piece of a worm shell. When I came out on the beach this morning, there were 45 confirmed sea turtle nests. None have hatched so far. We have not had any hatchings. We have lost a couple of nests but there have not been any hatchings as of yet. There's a big piece of worm rock down here on the edge of the water. Well, it looks like we finally got a internet connection, a cellular connection. We haven't had one all morning. So anybody that wants to watch this morning's video, you're gonna have to watch it on YouTube. I will share the links for both parts one and two of my Thursday morning beach walk on YouTube later. Oh. Signal just went out again. Well, that's a neat piece of worm rock there. Morning. I'm just walking south in area four now. Tide's on its way in. Beautiful blue sky. Expecting a high of 90 today. Gorgeous everywhere I look this morning. Beautiful, beautiful blue sky. Isn't that gorgeous? A mile of beach here at Del Norwegens. Some parts are a lot wider than others, but there is a mile of beachfront here at Del Norwegens. You can see the water looks pretty darn nice. Now that the dredging, I believe the dredging is finished. That's great news. According to Roy, it looks like they moved the dredge out of here. 
Now all they gotta do is get that barge out of here. That barge is still sitting offshore. We got an up close look at that barge this morning. I mean, part one of this beach walk. There's the barge still sitting there. Hopefully they'll be towing that away soon. offshore of Area 4 Beach. I don't know what has happened to Sprint out here. We had a signal earlier this morning and now it's just gone away. See the park rangers up there checking out one of the crawls. I think they're fixing one of the ex existing nests. It's kind of crazy. If you watch part one of my beach walk here, you'll see when we came across the sea turtle crawl here up at the north end of area three. She crawled up on the beach and I don't know if she laid any eggs or not, but after she finished her digging, she just plowed over an existing turtle nest. She just ran right over the thing, knocked the stakes over and twisted up the metal cage. I mean, those things are like bulldozers, those loggerhead sea turtles. It was, I'd never seen that happen before. So if it happens to be a successful crawl, there's gonna be three nests right next to each other up here. Good morning. Always good when these sea turtles lay their eggs up high on the beach. The higher up, the further up on the beach and into the dunes they get, the better chance of surviving. Now that was nest number five back here. Nest number five, that's getting close to hatching time. Or I'm sorry, that's nest number three. That should be getting ready to hatch any day. That get, should be getting real close. See how high this nest is up here? That's great. Nest number 30. That should make it through a high tide. Nest 30. It looks like we have a new nest over here. This is where the sea turtle come up and just ran right over an existing nest last night. But it looks like we had a successful crawl. Awesome. She came over, hey, she came right over and just bulldozed that nest right over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was something. That's, that, I never saw that. All right, two crawl, two successful crawls. Mm -hmm. Number forty-seven. Awesome, forty-seven nest. Great. But the sea turtle that came up on shore last night, she nested. All right, I'm back here. Our signal just keeps dropping out, and I completely lost my signal there. Completely lost my signal, but I was just showing you that we do have another nest, number 47. So we had two successful crawls last night. Nest number 47 over here. And this is that nest in the first part of this morning's beach walk. If you watch the video number one, you will see the crawl. I showed you the crawl tracks up onto the beach, but this female came up, nested here, and just bulldozed that nest over. The, the markers, the stakes, and the cage she completely ran it over on her way back to the beach so the ranger just finished fixing that up so that's great news 47 nests here 47 successful crawls so far gotta love it take a quick picture another lousy connection huh not having any luck well just gonna Make my way back to area one where we started this morning. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Every once in a while we have these problems with the Wi-Fi. Well, it's not Wi-Fi, it's just a cellular connection. There is no Wi-Fi here. So you just got to take the good with the bad. Now we're back down in area three. If you're just joining, because I finally have a connection, if you're just joining again, this is part three. We did have two successful crawls last night. Both of the crawls we saw in part one of this beach walk were successful crawls. So two new nests on the beach, loggerhead sea turtle nests, or a total of 47 nests. That's great news. All of this morning's videos will be available on YouTube. So don't fret, you, haven't, you won't miss anything. I might stitch them all together as one video, or I'll probably have part one, and then parts two and three, I'll stitch them together. So there'll be two parts on YouTube as well. So no matter what, if you're watching this, you definitely wanna go back and watch part one. I started around sunrise this morning, and it was beautiful out here. Gorgeous views, beautiful blue sky. Isn't that beautiful? The shadows, the sky, the water. One of our sea turtle nests down there in the foreground. Absolutely gorgeous. Definitely worth a picture. Hang on. Beautiful, beautiful colors here. That was nest, what was that nest number? That was nest number two. Unfortunately, that one is probably not gonna hatch. That one underwater, and that should have hatched by now. We've not had any hatchings, I've said that numerous times now. No confirmed hatchings yet. But there are 47 nests now, and that's awesome news. And the dredging has, I believe, come to an end. According to Roy, the dredge is gone from Wiggins Pass. So the dredging has stopped. 
That is awesome news. Awesome news. Just want to take a picture here. It's such a beautiful, beautiful photo here. Right by the edge of the boardwalk with the beautiful sky. Bear with me. I'm sorry, I just love that view. I always take a picture of it. See how long the connection holds here. I know I keep repeating myself, but there's a lot of people that are just coming and going because of the bad connection. But this video will be on YouTube, my entire beach walk this morning, all three parts of it. I will share the links here to that video. I will share the links on Facebook to those videos on YouTube. Peaceful and quiet morning. Water is beautiful down here. Look at that water. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. This is area one. out into the water here and look back. Always a beautiful, beautiful view looking back. Always worth a photo. Gorgeous. Now I'm getting close to my starting point here. Down at the boardwalk in area one. Where there was another crawl here on the beach. I don't know where. I'm looking for nest number 46. That should be around here somewhere. We did have two crawls at 46 and 47, both successful last night. We saw nest 47 at the beginning of this video, which is the third part of this morning's beach walk. Had three interruptions in the connection this morning. And I forgot where nest 46 was. Let these guys get by me here. I think nest 46 was up here, just a little further ahead of me. A little snowy egret taking off.
gorgeous out here. Yep, S46 is over here. Great news, two new nests, huh? 46 and 47. There's an S46 in the bright sunlight. Take a picture of that real quick before signing off. Very cool. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching this morning. Sorry about all the interruptions in the connection. You can blame Sprint, not me. I can't control the cellular connection. But before I sign off, looks like you're gonna get a nice quick look at the beach here again. It's beautiful. Beautiful Wednesday morning in paradise. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time, check out all of my photos and videos on Facebook. When you find something you like, hit the share button. You have a wonderful Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.